Hey guys, welcome back. So I covered this story um, a couple months ago. Catherine Denise and her ex Thomas fighting over custody of their children. They have a son and a daughter. Thomas was taken Catherine to court. He had lodged some very serious allegations against her. Some not even allegations, some that it, there's proof of it. Now their son was actually born with fetal alcohol syndrome and that was due to Catherine drinking while pregnant with their son. Also, Thomas said that the teachers would send home separate folders for work for their children to do and that his work always got done, but when the kids were with Catherine, work in their folders would not get done. Also, he talked about drug use. He um, alleged that she had a problem with substance abuse. There was a lot of accusations that he actually accused her of a while back when it first came out that they were going to go to court. He said at one point that she had left cocaine out on the dresser, which was within reach of the children. And that supposedly come from one of Catherine's close friends. I guess Catherine's close friend maybe told him out of concern for the children. That's just my speculation. So Thomas filed for custody of the children and he got it, you guys. The Ashley wrote an article um, it says Southern Charm star Catherine Denise has reportedly temporarily lost custody of her two children following custody court battle with her ex Thomas. So they have a daughter named Kenzie and a son named Saint and Saint is the one that um, has fetal alcohol syndrome. And it does say that she is now only getting supervised visits with the kids every other weekend. The visits now only take place during the day. The site also reports that a hearing took place on February 9th and the temporary order was filed on February 25th by the court. Thomas told the court that he still plans to take the children with him when he moves to South Carolina this summer. And that's about a two and a half hour drive from where Catherine lives. It says that the decision to take custody from Catherine came after Thomas filed for full custody of both of the children back in October, requesting that Catherine only have supervised visits with the kids. According to Thomas, this is due to Catherine allegedly using drugs and neglecting the kids. He actually does have an article out there and it kind of lists everything that Thomas has accused Catherine of. And all these accusations are in the court filings. This is all things that he has taken to court with him to say, this is why I think I deserve custody and she needs supervised visits. He filed all that through the court and that's the drug use, the not doing the homework, the neglect, um, having the drugs within reach of the kids, all that he filed in his court documents. So back in 2019, Thomas and Catherine, they were able to reach a joint custody agreement. But Thomas says that things have changed and these things affect the health, safety, and welfare of the children. And because he believes that Catherine has relapsed um, and is no longer sober, that the children, obviously, their safety is at risk. And if that's the case, I would absolutely agree. I'm wondering if the judge will order um, drug tests. I know that they do that sometimes. One of the court documents read, we have a witness who observed Miss Dennis do cocaine while having custody of the children. Also going on to say that Miss Dennis left cocaine on an open dresser within reach of the children. Catherine denies those claims, stating in her court documents, I do not use cocaine, so naturally I have not left out for any of our children to access. In December, Catherine filed to have their custody case sealed by the court, and that was approved. So the official reason for the custody loss is not available to the public, and Catherine has not discussed the uh, custody loss publicly. She has not posted about it, tweeted about it, or anything like that. So all we know, you guys, is that she's reportedly temporarily lost custody of the two children, and that now she will have supervised visits with the kids every other weekend, and it's going to take place during the day. So those are some serious allegations. And like I said, I think a lot of them could be handled uh, by bringing maybe the teachers in for them to step up and say, hey, yes, when Thomas has the kids, their work gets done. When Catherine has the kids, the work doesn't get done. The judge could also order her to take random drug tests and maybe not even just like a urinalysis because those can easily be passed. I would say maybe a hair follicle, um, a nail nail drug test and those can go back months that's just what i think she would probably need to do um in order to prove that she is sober and that she is taking care of the kids or seeing to their schoolwork 
Also, one of the allegations that Thomas said was that he has taken their son to his therapy classes for years and that Catherine doesn't do that. So I think these are all things that I think she could do better at. Um, the judge just got a rule for these things to happen. Like, hey, we need um, reports from the school every two months. You know, we need drug tests uh, issued at random. And we need Saints Occupational Therapist or whoever it may be to report back to us and let us know who is taking him to his classes, to his counseling, to his therapy. You guys, leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. When it comes to children, you cannot play their health, their safety. All of that comes first over anything. I was looking at pictures. I don't really like to speculate, but I was looking at pictures of Catherine and a picture that the Ashley posted. And I do say that she looks very slim compared to just months ago. She looks way slimmer. So you guys, leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.